welcome to Seacoat Sports Wrap Up Episode 2. I'm Jamie Healy, and today's episode is all about snowboarding. And we're very lucky and very fortunate to be joined by up and coming snowboarder Bobby Stitt. And while drama and dreams may be what you think of in team sports, they're also very uh, prevalent in individual sports. And when those dreams become ambition, and when finally you reach the pinnacle, what does it take to stay there? What does it take to reach the summit? What does it take? When it's uh, not going your way, well, we'll find out, especially in a sport where it's seen a lot of popularity, especially a lot of rise of popularity, especially in this region of the country, and especially among the youth of this country. What will happen, or what does it take to become the cream of the crop? We'll find out next in a one-on-one -on -one interview. Hi there, and welcome to Seacoat Sports Wrap-Up Episode 2. I'm Jamie Healy, and today I'm joined by snowboarder. Bobby Stitt, who's going to talk about us. What are you going to talk about today, Bobby? Uh, we're going to talk about my snowboarding and kind of my journey through it. All right, let's get right into it, shall we? Yeah. When and where and why did you start Well, uh, snowboarding? That kind of started when I was younger. Um, just kind of started off as something in elementary school. My dad just wanted to do something fun one day. I know it was, I'm pretty sure it was actually a Wednesday afternoon after school. He just wanted to head up there and I'm like, let's go try this out. And we went once or twice and... Eventually, I just really loved it. Wow. By the following year, it just took off. Good, good. Well, congratulations first off on that. Uh, congratulations. You know, you, you're pretty high up there, aren't you, in the snowboard? Yeah. Um, I've actually taken a couple of good accomplishments. Um, I was number one in the country last year, and right now I'm ranked number 10. And, yeah, it's doing really good. Good. So, you know, um, that kind of leads me in. And, you know, who or what made you want to... Uh, Aspire to not only be a snowboarder but to be so good and be so close to being what? Um. Well, there's a lot of people around me. Just at my own local hill here, even at Wilmot, that I see ride every day that are at a higher level, and you start to talk to them and you start to be friends with them, and it starts to become almost your own competition with them. And you know, here that came, you know, really from just you and your dad wanted to do something fun, and now you're, you know, very good at it. So. You know, what are some of your successes and some of your failures uh, that you've had to deal with? A big success would definitely be um, last year. So I, I'm sponsored by a board shop up in uh, Kenosha. And we went up there and they told us about this competition at The Rock, which is a snowboard uh, hill up in uh, Milwaukee. And we headed up there for this little competition. It was sponsored by the, what I'm sponsored by now is Never Summer which is like one of the biggest board companies. And me and Cooper, we just went up there and we were just fooling around. And all of a sudden a big snowboarder, he's a professional, Sam Klein comes up to me and he's like, you're really good. And he's like, you just won this like contest. And I was like, wow. And so um, he called me up there when he was doing all his announcements. And he gave me a free board, which was really awesome. And I go home that night and I look in my Instagram, someone texted me and it was never summer. And they said they wanted me on the team, and that really kicked off for what I'm doing now more. And I would definitely say this having my mom and dad always behind me, like, that's a good feeling, too, to be able to just keep on going. Right, no matter, persevere no matter what. Yeah. And they'll have your back. Since snowboarding is such a gotten very popular, especially in the Olympics, uh, you know, because of that big lucrative television deal, and they've thrown them on there, they throw the snowboarding on there. Yeah. Um, would you attribute, you know, just watching and trying to emulate it? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, like you said, Sean White, like, he's done a lot for the sport and what we do. I mean, especially, like, the Olympics, like, that's just blown up in the past few years, too. It's snowboarding for the community, and, like, that's what my like, I inspire to do, too, is maybe, like, help the sport and, like, help other people get into it, you know? What would you say most want you to keep going even when you're at your downtrodden, at your most downtrodden? Um... It's not the end of the world. You just gotta stay humble about it. When you go down, you're down. It's all right, there's more contests, and you stay happy about it. That keeps the drive in you. If you start getting mad, then you're just not gonna, you're just gonna lose all that motivation. So you gotta keep high right. spirits for that. And so I asked Bobby if he could send us some footage. He was happy to. And uh, let's see what we got out of here. Roll tape. I wonder if he's gonna do a front three melon. Huh. 
First off, I want to thank Bobby and his family uh, for his gr for their gracious humility uh, and sticking with me throughout this project and their immense cooperation. I appreciate it. I'm hoping this is a project that they enjoy and that you guys all enjoy, first off. Uh, secondly, I want to, uh, for all those in a winter sport or those looking to get into sports or whatever, uh, and that you know, you're not, you're just getting off the ground and you can't quite hit it, well just look at a tale of perseverance that we just showed you here. It's a tale of perseverance and one that uh, hopefully can inspire some of you guys to go out there, try new things, hit the slopes and uh, keep fighting the good fight. Um, thank you very much all for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you have any uh, comments or concerns or questions or want me to do another project, uh, on something you guys enjoy, uh, just hit me up at Instagram uh, at Jamie Healy or 75, or you can catch the rest of my work on YouTube at Secret Broadcast Network. Uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Jamie Healy signing off.